Hello, this is Eric Michael Lloyd, master's student in psychology. I'm reading a meta-analysis on arrhythmias. Of a heart. 32 different heart rhythms. This is a meta-analysis <clears throat> that was completed. I'll go ahead and upload that as well. Ventricular arrhythmia. The name of this article is called Venturing into Ventricular Arrhythmia Storm, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. This is from the European Heart Journal. Oxford Academic, academic.oup.cc. The researchers name are Sachin Nair, Anand N. Gnason, Anthony G. Brooks, Thomas Sullivan, Kurt C. Roberts Thompson, Prashanthan Sanders. This was volume number 34 from the European Heart Journal, issue 8. And this was released on the 21st of February, 2013, pages 560 through 571. And it was published uh, the 21st of December of 2012. Abstract. Ablation has substantial evidence, has substantial evidence base in the management of ventricular arrhythmia, VA. It can be a life-saving procedure in the acute setting of VA storm. Current reports on Ablation in VA storm are in the form of a small series and have relative small representation in a large observational series. The purpose of this study was to systematically synthesize the available literature to appreciate the efficacy and safety of ablation in the setting of VA storm. The medical electronic databases through the 31st of January 2012 were searched. Ventricular arrhythmia storm was defined as recurrent above or equal to three episodes or defibrillator therapies in 24 hours or incessant continuous greater than 12 hours VA. Studies reporting data on VA storm, ventricular arrhythmia storm patients at the individual or study level were included. A total of 471 VA storm patients from 39 publications were collated for the analysis. All VAs were successfully ablated in 72%, 95% confidence interval, and 71 through 89%, and 9%, 95% confidence interval, 3 through 10%, had filed a procedure. Procedure related mortality occurred in three patients, 0.6%. Only six percent of patients had a recurrence of VA storm. The recurrence of VA was significantly higher after ablation for arrhythmic storm of monomorphic ventricular tachycardia, VT, relative to ventricular fibrillation or polymorphic ven VT, ventricular tachycardia, with underlying cardiomyopathy. The odds ratio is 3.76, 95% confidence interval, Confidence interval range was from 1.65 to 8.57. P-value of P is equal to 0, 0.02. During the follow-up, 61 plus or minus 37 weeks, 17% of patients died. Heart failure, 62%. Arrhythmias, 23%. And non-cardiac, 15% with 55% deaths occurring within 12 weeks of intervention. The odds of death were four times higher after a failed procedure compared with those with a successful procedure. 95% confidence interval, 
2.04 through 8.1. P-value is less than 0 0.001. Ventricular arrhythmia storm ablation was high acute success rates with a low rate of recurrent storms. Heart failure is the dominant cause of death in the long term. Failure of the acute procedure carries a high mortality. Introduction. Ventricular arrhythmia, VA storm, is increasingly being recognized as a distinctive arrhythmia syndrome with its specific management issues and prognostic consequences that differ from ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation episodes unrelated to storm. Implantable cardioverter defibrillator, ICD, is recommended as primary or secondary prevention of sudden death in patients with cardiomyopathy and life-threatening genetic cardiac disorders. However, despite the presence of an ICD, the appearance of a VA storm still pretends a high mortality. The AVID study, which followed secondary prevention, ICD re recipients observed a 5.6-fold relative increase in mortality in the first 12 weeks following the development of VA storm and 2.4-fold over three years when compared with those who had VA episodes unrelated to storm. Indeed, every defibrillator shock therapy multiplies the mortality risk and the impact of multiple theories, therapies over a short period can have unpredictable consequences. Radiofrequency catheter ablation, RFA, is evolving as a standard care in patients with VA storm with VT, free long-term survival improved with early invasive intervention. Other approaches such as transcoronary ethanol ablation generally remain as a treatment of last resort after failure of RFA. Most of the published data on VA storm ablation are single, center, small series, or case reports and have relative small representation within large multi-center VT ablation series. Therefore, given the lack of large data, interpretability of reported information on survival outcomes and VA storm management remains contentious. Despite this relatively modest supporting evidence, current guidelines endorse the role of catheter ablation for VA storm management with a consensus on early intervention. We therefore undertook this systematic review to organize the published data on high-risk VA storm patients and examine the efficacy and safety of VA storm ablation. The next part, I'm read the methods, identification of research, quality assessment, and selection of studies. And then the data extraction, data synthesis, and statistical analysis, and then the results uh, thereafter. Basic clinical and demographic data, procedural strategy, electrophysiologic characteristics, procedural result, follow-up recurrence of ventricular arrhythmia and mortality, impact of incessant ventricular arrhythmia on procedural outcome, mortality and ventricular arrhythmia recurrence, and other demographic predictors and ventricular arrhythmia recurrence. The, uh, along with the relationship between procedural outcome mortality and ventricular arrhythmia recurrence, the discussion section, uh, and, then, and then that's it before we get to the references. Thank you.